I did it. I did it. I did something I thought I'd never do in a million, million years. Um, sorry if I'm out of breath, but I'm really happy. <laughs> um, so guess what? I am fixing my blinds, first of all. Um, I had an HP event thing, and pretty much what these things are is I, did, I went for work, and um, <laughs> we go and we learn about stuff, and it's blah, 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 and then we get to go see a movie afterwards. Um, or whatever, whatever the event thing is. And I tried so hard, and I mean so hard, to have someone come with me. I tried so hard to have someone meet me at the door. Um, I tried so hard not to do this whole thing alone because I get so freaked out with my autism. Um to do stuff that's really social like that. It looks like I have no eyelashes. I'm not wearing any makeup. But I'm all done nice. Um, so I was trying so hard because with my autism, it freaks me out to go to public places and to be around big groups and be alone. Um, or at least go into a building alone, because then I get all freaked out and paranoid, and there's lots of noises and lots of people, and I get really freaked out, and I'm like, oh my god, can I do this? Um, and pretty much what happened is I was driving, um, I was hanging out with Elizabeth and her mom, <laughs> oh, there, it stopped, <laughs> Um, I was hanging out with Elizabeth and Elizabeth's mom, and we were, we just got done playing, and where we were, from where I had to go after that, to back to my house, took about an hour long drive. Um, that was with stops, of course, um, or not with stops, just like stopping at the second location to go to the last location, which is my home. Um, so the whole ride there, I it was getting so close to my deadline on when I needed to leave. And so I was just like, you know, I'm not going to go. I registered. Everything is free. It's whatever. It's blah, blah, blah. And um, I something inside of me was just like, no, maybe you should go, you know. Try and get a hold of this person and this person and, you know, see if they'll meet you there, if they'll stand outside with you or stand outside and wait for you and blah, blah, blah. And I tried to get a hold of a couple of people and open into their phones and I was freaking out. So the entire drive, I was like, you know, maybe I should go, maybe I should just turn around. It's like, that's not a big deal. I didn't have to pay for anything. Um you know, whatever, it, it's not going to make a big difference to me if I miss it or not, um, so I was trying so hard, something inside of me was just trying to convince myself not to go, and I think it's the fact that I was absolutely terrified of going alone, and knowing that I had no one to really go with, <laughs> so, um, uh, I got closer and closer, and I'm just kind of like, I'm still trying to convince myself, you know, not to go, just go in the parking lot and pull around, or turn around and go home, um, but then I got there, and I'm like, why would I turn around, I literally just drove over 30 minutes to this place, and it's a waste of gas if I'm gonna drive over <laughs> 30 minutes to a place for an event for one of my jobs, and have, like, <laughs> nothing to really get out of it, I guess. That probably sounds really bad. Um, so, I was just like, you know, okay, whatever, I'll go. So, the whole time I'm walking up to the door, 
I didn't have anybody riding with my car, or riding with me in my car. I didn't have anybody meeting me out front. I didn't have anybody meeting me in the building, um, at least not on purpose. And I did it. <laughs> After oh so many years of never going to a public place alone, I can honestly say I have finally, finally gone to a place by myself with a group of people in there. I mean, I've gone to places alone, and it freaks me out, but I've never had to go there for an event with a bunch of people I would already also know. Um, so, like, just going by myself and just being like, hey, whatever, you know, whatever, it's fine. But knowing that there's going to be people there that I know that are going to be there and doing the same thing that I'm going to do, I don't know why, but it freaks me out. So I was just kind of like, oh my god, I can't believe I did it. And I'm so proud of myself. I'm so happy. And a lot of you guys are probably just like, well, why would that be such a big deal? Because, you know, a bunch of people do it all the time. And like you said, you just did it. You do it all the time when you're alone. And yeah, that's true. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Can you tell that I'm, this is where it's up here? Um, yes, I do go to places alone by myself. It's a big deal because I've never, at least in my opinion, um, from what I can recollect with my memories, I've never, ever, ever, ever done what I did today by alone. I've never done it before in my life, ever. And it's a huge milestone because I, with my autism, I'm, I guess, social phobic. I hate going to an event. I hate going to a place where there's going to be large crowds, large people, lots of noises. Um, it's just a big no-no for me. It's, no. Um, uh, so, I'll, to go was really awesome. And then we sat there and I listened to the people talk. And I was really glad because I learned some stuff about some of the products and stuff. And, granted, I was freaked out because there were a lot of people. There were a lot of people close in my area. Um, but I had my coworkers there with me. And for the ones that kind of know, knew what was going on, I greatly appreciate everything. Um, I appreciate um, them not making a big deal out of it or them not making me feel worse about it. Um, I try, I'm trying really hard to get over this and fix it or whatever. Um, it's just really difficult and it takes a very long time, so I appreciate the patience that those co-workers were willing to deal with and I just wanted to share that. I just wanted to share how proud I was and how excited. Um, subscribe to my channel thingy. Um, I just uploaded a new video. I'm going to upload a video from earlier. Technically it was yesterday because right now it's like 12.30. Um, so I'm going to put a link down in the description of a video from earlier today um, when I was at the park with Elizabeth and my niece. And um, that was another fear that I kind of was doing. And chances are I'll never do it again. But I'm just really proud because I did a bunch of stuff I never thought I'd do in my life. So um, thank you for watching. Subscribe, share, watch, whatever. Um, and I'll see you guys later.